Watch, our series testing what Governor Tom Wolf said during his campaign. Eight on your side, government reporter Pete Muntean found Wolf is keeping a promise on pensions, but it's facing pushback. Wolf to the current employees. The state's largest financial mess is growing. It's patently unfair. Along with talk at the state capitol about how to fix it. There's no perfect solution because of the, the situation that past governors have put us in. We need a new approach. Governor Tom Wolf wants to patch the state's employee pension debt. He's laid out a plan using a bond, essentially refinancing growing payments on $53 billion of debt. That's true to what he told me last October. I don't think that the answer is to continue to reduce the compensation so that we get uh, people, fewer and fewer people who actually want to work for us. over the long haul. Hardly what conservatives here are looking for, rather moving new state employees over to a 401k. This is just a public sector pension bailout scheme um, that's going to wind up having taxpayers pay more uh, instead of reforming the overall system to make it better. Opponents stress that Wolf's plan would not pay off the state's pension debt until the year 2042. It's incremental. It doesn't solve the problem, but it's a piece of a solution. May skew the results. A solution that will be hotly debated by lawmakers for months to come. And that's 7.5. With a Wolf Watch, Pete Muntean, on your side, News 8. Senate Majority Leader Jake Corman said today that he hopes lawmakers will consider a plan to switch current and former state employees to 401k style retirement plans. But critics say that would be illegal. Taking a live look at our Lebanon Sky Cam, the News 8 forecast is next.